The notification settings in Microsoft Teams have been reorganized to help you understand your options and to reduce the overwhelm of notifications. Here's what you need to know to prepare for that change. Today, notification settings have been difficult to understand and it results in poor choices or potentially no choices and being overwhelmed by notifications. Remember, notifications are only useful if you're actually going to do something about them. If you're ignoring those notifications, then you might as well turn them off. The new notification settings have been organized based on activity. So as you glance your way down through the different settings, you can choose how you want to be notified based on the activity and the function within Microsoft Teams. Missed email notifications are front and center. Dial your notification frequency up or down depending on how frequently you want to receive an email. Teams and channel notifications are simple and easy to choose. Depending on how engaged you want to be with the conversations and notifications within the team. You can set your default notifications for all channels, but do remember you can go to a team or a channel and set notifications specific to that channel. To be highly responsive to the activity within a channel, set it to all activity. If you want to be less responsive, then set it to mentions and replies. This is when your name is mentioned or if someone is replying to a conversation you've started or you have replied to. Or get granular about the way you want teams to notify you for different types of mentions, replies to conversations, reactions and trending conversations. If a channel is important to you, then you have to set it to show it or pin it. Then set your notification behavior for all new posts and channel mentions. For other activities like chat and meetings, set your notifications based on how you want to be notified, such as for people that you're following or you've set to get a status change when they come online. So when are these changes are occurring? They seem to be arriving now within targeted release tenants. We haven't seen a message in the message center yet or anything official, but be prepared for that change coming soon. The change affects everyone who uses Microsoft Teams, though it might not be very impactful if you're happy with your notifications as they are right now, you don't need to make any changes. But it might be a good time to go in and check out the notification choices. You might have a better chance of understanding your choices and then tune them to the way that you want to work. To prepare for this change, check your Teams notification settings occasionally. When you see the new layout, then review the settings and see if there's some things you can change to suit the way that you want to work and improve. For more Microsoft 365 change communication, subscribe to this channel and visit modernworkplacescenarios.com for further details. A link to a companion blog post for this video is in the description. We'll see you again soon.